Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. I know it's been a while since I came out with a video, but to be truthfully honest with you, the reason being is because I've been looking for about the last three weeks for a new game to actually invest and play. And I couldn't find anything. It's like they're all kind of different now than what I'm used to. You know, I like the Japanese RPG, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy IX type games, which you guys know that those are the kind of games I usually cover. Until I found this gem right here called uh, The Legend of Heroes Trials in the Sky SC. Now there is two installments of this game and I thought this game was the same as the first original game which I did complete. But I found out that it's two different games but it does have the same cast pretty much and it, it takes place like three to five years after later than the actual first game installment. Now it's called the SC because it means second chapter. And it came out I think around year 2015. I got it on Steam for about $29 and it's a great uh, Japanese RPG game. It's got all the elements in it that I like to see in these kind of games. And like I said, they're making less and less of these games as, as each year goes on. So, uh, But anyways, uh, I just want to go over in this video some of the key details that I've come across so far and I want to share them with you. Now it does have your... it does have maps so when you come into a town or whatnot and it is controller based you can use a controller for this game like an Xbox type controller again it's, it's for the PC because we got it from Steam and you could also I think use the uh, keyboard and the mouse so it depends on the settings that you use is what you can actually use but it is controller you can use a game controller for this game now it has all the shops in it that you would expect full towns in this game uh, it's got a lot of different things in this game. It's really a great game. And here's the hotel right here. We all know what that does. Let's see. Let's see what else. Uh, if we open up the map, they're kind of color-coded, and they let you know what each building, where it is. So I want to go to the Bracer Guild, which we're standing almost two blocks away from. So if we head up this way, actually, it's kind of deceiving. If we head back here... We're going to come in here. All right, now this is the main hub of the game. Because what we are is guild braces. Our job is to take on assignments and help people out that need things done. It could be anything from their cab being lost to uh, a big boss fight, you know. So you want to come here to find out what assignments is actually available. And that's how you kind of progress in the game along with, of course, the main storyline. Now, if we if we come to this board right here, this like bulletin board, this is where they have the different kinds of tasks or quests available. And as you, as you uh, press the button on your, in my case, the controller here, it's going to give you more information about this, um, about the certain quest and how much it pays. Now it's called Myra in the game is actually like the currency in this game. It's called Myra. And another way of getting Myra too is you don't really get you you do get experience levels in the game in but there's no really such thing as really getting like any kind of gold or money. But how you do get Myra in the game is what you use to buy things with is if you go to items. Let me see here. Actually, that's not what it is. Uh, that's not it either. Oh, you have to actually go to a shop or something, and they have what they call an exchange. But I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. But anyways, this is this is what the guilds are for. And then the main guy here, he's going to have different information too. So it's always good to check up on these guilds every now and then. Now the battle system I'm really not going to get too deep into in this video, but I will be making follow-up videos covering more about the battle system. But for now we're going to go to a shop, and they're indicated by the green box. I have one like right across from us. Uh, that's a casino. And, yeah, it even has casinos, which is pretty cool. The game's got like everything. 
It's got a lot of cool things to do. It's even got fishing. So as you're walking along, any bodies of water, if you see like round circles, fish breaking, that's where you could cast your fishing pole and uh, do some fishing. But I'm I'm just trying to find a item shop. So let's see what this one is. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, if you notice, let me uh, let me close my image. Down at the very bottom left here, where you could see my cursor, is where the Myra is. Now, this is a way that you could make more Myra, but I try not to use these for the Myra. Unless if I have an overabundance, like if I have over 120 of them, or like 100 of them, I sometimes will spend some of them, so I get more Myra. So basically what this does is that it converts what they call Cypherets, or whatever it is, those are gems that drop in the game, those fuel up pretty much all the important parts of this game. Uh, a lot of the things come from having Cypherets, and they drop from uh, fights whenever you fight a monster and stuff, instead of getting rewarded gold like you would in most games, and here, it's separates. Now, what you want to do with these later on is totally up to you, but keep in mind, these are what makes your abilities stronger, too. So that's why I try not to use them too much for currency in the game. So you just go to Convert, and we'll do, uh, let's see, we got quite a bit of this one right here, so we'll, we'll uh, click on that one and we'll do about 10 of them say and then you just go down here trade sippets sippets or whatever I don't know how you pronounce them but and now you're going to notice that my Myra back down here in the bottom left is now going up quite a bit so that's if you do need Myra in the game this is one way that you could that uh, you could get it now as far as the actual this is the menu and this has all your different quests in it that you have to do. And it's pretty uh, detailed. The, the game doesn't really keep you hanging. Of course, in most games lately, sometimes you have to Google some things. But this game pretty much tells you who you have to go see, where they're located, and all that good stuff. So now if we try to find an oddment shop, I think I seen one earlier. Let's see. Yeah, there's one right there. It's the brown, it's the brown building up here. If we go there, we'll go over a few more things, and this is of course to build up your stats and your skills and all that good stuff, so you're nice and strong. There we are. Upgrade and exchange. Now as you could see, it's all based off these sippets. And that's how you would upgrade some of these. So if I wanted to upgrade this ability right here, that's what I would do to upgrade that. And for quartz, let's see. This is where you would get your different abilities. So if you have enough of whatever, whatever you know, you need enough sippets, of course, or sippets to actually purchase these. Once you have enough, it's going to let you know by the brackets to the left. If it's in green, that means you have enough. If it's in red or orange like that, then of course you don't have enough of them yet, so you can't buy that ability yet. So this is how you get most of the abilities in the game. Okay, now trade. Well, I'm not really sure too much about that yet, so we'll skip that for now. So that's some of the key details of what the towns hold. And again, you could talk to every person in here. There is no voice acting. Yeah, even the first game didn't have it. I thought it did. But that's one thing about this game. For the for the day and age that it came out, you know, it's a pretty modern game. There is no voice acting for a game of this caliber. I'm really, really surprised about that. But I didn't really miss it too much because a lot of times I listen to background music and stuff anyway. Here's a hotel. So if you ever have to rest up and stuff, it replenishes everything but the very bottom the very bottom so if you see my cursor here where their their portraits are the bottom left corner uh, CP points 
it does not re replenish those but it replenishes everything else it replenishes the HP and the EP the EP is used for um, to get off your abilities your single skills or whatnot and uh, CP is combo points that's used to do your um, your different abilities where where you use more than one person all right so now that we're replenished we'll take a walk outside now and we'll go a little bit over the battle system but like I said we're not going to cover too much of that in this video uh, yeah that looks good now another cool thing about this game too as a lot of newer games have been like this from Steam is you could pretty much save it anywhere so if we just go to files up on top we got the option here now where we could save it and this is the new spot that I'm grinding in right now okay so let's go up and get ourselves into a fight and see if there's some other things we could just cover really fast some of the basics here's one right here I'm not gonna try to mess with this guy right now because sometimes he does an ability to me that I don't really have items for yet where I get confused and I can't do nothing so we're gonna skip him for now and the monsters in this game are visible they're not you know so you could see them before you uh, you approach them I gotta go down to the right later on but we'll just well, we will see what this guy does I haven't fought these guys yet so it's going to be new for all of us okay now it's a it's a uh, it's a weight system they're not going to attack you until you start attacking first the um, the rotation shown up here to the left that's what this bar is up here to the left the rotation of who's going to be attacking next in the order of that this is your arts these are your uh, single attacks per person and these are the crafts crafts are your combos that you use more than one person with usually so that's what those are used for and that's what the CP points are that's at the very bottom of your character so for now we're gonna to go to art and I'm gonna do a fire bolt with her and with him I'm just gonna do a regular attack and see how that goes it's a pretty easy battle system it's not overwhelming and I like that a lot of games that I've been playing lately even turn base they they ramped them way up you know that there's a lot involved um, so yeah so I really like the way that this has been going let's see how they all do on it just regular attack okay she's starting to get pretty low there now but they also have heals too in the game plus healing items so for her I'm going to use a heal magic spell which is tear and that should give her back about a thousand okay enough to get through this fight and that's basically it that's, that's your basics for the fights right there there is no auto system in the game so you can't just put it on auto and put down the controller so you do have to control each uh, each move okay here's another fight I know this is only one guy but just for the heck of it for the sake of the video we'll use a craft now because we got enough points we got and this is probably the strongest attack I have right now called barrage We'll see what it does. Pretty good, pretty good. These guys are getting stronger though. Usually that takes them out in one shot. We'll just finish them off now with regular hits. And there he goes. So the game's a lot of fun, you know, there's a lot of things involved in the game. And uh, there's a lot of like air travel, which is cool too. They 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 tra that's why it's called tr uh, trials in the sky because there's a lot of times that you'll be using airships or whatnot in the game so it's got a lot of that stuff going on it's not just 
go here, then go here, then go in a dungeon, then back to one town. You know, this game has plenty of different towns in it, a lot of eye candy to look at. It should keep you entertained for many, many hours. It's a pretty long game. It's at least 40 hours. So I recommend if you have been having a tough time looking for a good Japanese RPG turn-based game for the computer system to check this out on Steam for around $29. Again, guys, uh, I miss making videos for you guys, but again, if they stop making the games I enjoy, it's, 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 uh, it's tough to cover something. So, But we're always going to try something. All right? Until then, thanks for watching Wise Gamer. You have a great day. Remember to always comment below and feel free to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.